Okay, you wake up first thing in the morning and you got your morning Joe. Mm. And the first thing you want to do is you want to put your lips on it and you want to drink it down. But I want you to know that the night before you just woke up, your body has gone through lots of dehydration and therefore you almost went through a liter of water. And remember that coffee is a diuretic. Now, do you want to hydrate? Or do you want to urinate? And research has shown that coffee has great antioxidants, particularly for many parts of our body as well as our liver. So we cannot put down coffee. But did you know that our cortisol levels, which is our stress hormone, is greatest the first thing in the morning? Now, what does coffee do? It raises our cortisol levels more. So what is the caffeine actually doing to you? It's dilating your pupils, it's opening your airways. It makes your heart beat faster. It makes your blood vessels constrict, raising blood pressure. And the liver then breaks down sugars into the bloodstream to give you that extra energy. In other words, our muscles are tight. They're ready for action. We're ready to move. We're ready to get up and do our thing. But this cortisol we're talking about is a steroid hormone produced by your adrenal glands in your kidneys. And it does many things within the body. It helps control blood sugar levels. It helps our memory. It influences blood pressure, it regulates our metabolism, and affects our immune system, such as inflammation. But you and I know that coffee is addicting. So the first thing early in the morning, you get up and you start sipping your morning joe. But if you're drinking that morning coffee when your cortisol levels are at the highest when you first get up, and you are now at your highest alertness because that's what cortisol does to our brain and body, you will eventually need more coffee because you have just built a tolerance to it. So it is best to try to drink that coffee a little bit later in the morning when those cortisol levels are on the verge of dropping. So that caffeine is a drug and that cortisol is a hormone. And if we continue to elevate those hormones, it's going to throw our neuroendocrine system off. You're gonna get that drop, like you're getting that drop in that blood sugar. You're gonna feel extremely tired, depressed, fatigued, and you're going to notice your physical energy is going to get weaker. So make sure that when you drink your coffee, do it smart, not first thing in the morning because your body needs that hydration. You've just lost almost a liter of water. So be smart and your body will be happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.